Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. We're doing something a little bit different, and I will talk about it in a live gameplay later on. But we're using OBS. We actually have the webcam going. We're here for the weekly vendor weapon reset. Again, we're a little bit late, but let's talk about the weapons this week. Starting off with Ronnie. If you're looking for PVE stuff, go ahead and check out the link in the description for Mesa Sean. He's the best. So we have the Continental. Uh, between that and the Extrema file, and we look, we have Danger Close. But remember, the Continental can double up on Tier One perks. So the other one is Rodeo. Our sides are going to be Reflex, Quick Draw, OEG. So we would go with uh, Rodeo Perfect Balance Third Eye. We also have Armor Piercing. But what's nice about the Continental and the Extrema file is you just have a very good base auto rifle at this point. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's something to bring out, and you can do decently with it. Uh, we have Third Eye is not the best because we have the Artifact. Rodeo does help out, and Persistence does help out. Uh, fast firing weapons like auto rifles uh, is the best example. So I would save your marks. It's just something worth pointing out. The Parthian shot doesn't have good scopes, neither does the Angels. I, I really love a very high stability Angels Advocate with a Reflex MD or Reflex scope. It doesn't have it. The How Dare You, if you're into living life on the edge, we have the Steady Hand Sure Shot Quick Draw. Most people go with Sure Shot. But we have Hot Swap Icarus, Rifled Barrel Casket Mag Hidden Hand. So right there, we have Rifled Barrel Hidden Hand and Icarus. One of the best possible rolls you could possibly get for this hand cannon, aside from Rangefinder being there. But Hidden Hand does help. The base stability is really low, the rifled barrel doesn't really hit max for our range, kind of in a horrible spot, but if you like living life on the edge, it's there for you. We have a fast firing fusion rifle, the X Asterisk with the MD Reflex, Red Dot Ori, and the OEG. I like the MD Reflex on fusions, it feels like a really good scope. Uh, we have knee pads or life support, I would personally go with knee pads, the slide really matches up with a fast firing fusion rifle. We have small bore accelerated coils and then range finder. So fast firing, you don't necessarily want to put accelerated on here. It, really decreases the damage you shoot a little bit faster but we're gonna be using the knee pads range finder combination with a little bit more range and stability and i believe small bore is glitched on most weapons so i'm not even sure that this reduces it might even add it even adds on some weapons so it's a decent fusion rifle this week like there are a couple of other ones that are good we have the teacup tempest and i always say we say it every single week that it's not as good as a wormwood it's just better at range than the wormwood uh, a little bit further out so we have the sure shot true sight quick draw we have mulligan cascade hand loaded lightweight and hot swap so we're gonna go right across the top here i really like mulligan on a sidearm and if you guys haven't tried it try it one of these days it's really good so you don't get that much range it's almost negligible but we would choose that over lightweight because lightweight doesn't really help it helps like on the mita right things like that but we're gonna go with the added range and then hot swap switching to it it's good switching from your primary get that brief period of bonus accuracy and in destiny 2 it looks like with the reticle from hip fire we're gonna see things like hot swap underdog come into play a little bit more because you can actually see it on your screen with how they did the uh hip fire and ads in that game so it's something i'm really looking forward to getting into we have the razor it's just your basic run of the mill final rounds replenish we don't have snapshot or quick draw right here we have the bone crusher it's worth talking about because it's a really good role we have accurized linear compensator and field choke uh, field choke for increased damage all these kind of really give it right more impact more impact and more impact so it really uh one of these two linear is probably going to be your better option for recoil direction but this thing shoots so slow you can tap fire it like a scout we have army of one take and e i would personally go with take and e um a lot of people have told me that they've used take and e recently and it's uh, that good brace frame rifle barrel we would go with rifled barrel and crowd control because take and e is really going to help out that stability on it and uh, you move a little bit quicker. Things like the steps from the Warlock or what Keen Scout from Night Stalker, really good with the Take and E weapon. So we would go with Take and E, Rifled Barrel, and Crowd Control. And there are a lot of good rocket launchers this week. Um, not this one, though. This is your basic tracking rocket launcher with heavy payload and Grenadier. Not necessarily your last resort. Let's go and jump over to Dead Orbit. There are a couple weapons I'd like to talk about today. Um, I believe the Extremophile does have high caliber rounds, and that's the big thing for the Extremophile versus Continental. Extremophile can have high cals. So, basic run-of-the-mill auto rifle. We have the MD Reflex, Sure Shot, and OEG. Both these are really good, right? So, out of the rip, we have Quick Draw and high caliber rounds. Quick Draw pairs nicely with, let's say, an Icebreaker, right? Quick Draw and Quick Draw synergize with each other. But high caliber rounds is also a great option. We have Small Bore, Third Eye, and Hidden Hand. So, we can double up on Tier 1 perks. Third Eye is decent. We do have an artifact for that nowadays. We did a little bit more range, a little bit more stability with Hidden Hand. Decent Extremophile this week. Way better than the Continental in my opinion. I would like to talk about the Keystone. And I just like these weapons because they have very poor handling. It's the MD Reflex Range Lens and Reflex 
perfect. Empty reflex and reflex. Between these two, quick draw and snapshot work really well on these scout rifles because they have poor handling. I would personally go with snapshot. Uh, Hammer Forge crowd control. We already have really good range. It does help with aim assist, things like that. It's debatable once it, once you're at that far of a range, right? But we'd probably go with triple tap crowd. It's going to be good in PvE and PvP. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, worlds to come, we're going to skip. This is a full auto surrounded. So in Hipfire, we're talking pure PvE right here. Uh, does the better edge have snapshot or quick draw? We do. So high aim assist on this bad boy. We have an ambush and a Vutech. Vutech is kind of a weird scope. Uh, but we will go with quick draw, probably mulligan and unflinching. I personally use a um, seven cents, and I'll show it to you after we get done with it over here. But here's the deal: we have an unto dust. There are a couple rockets like this this week. It has a high reserve, and it has the three. We have field scout, spray and play, grenades and horseshoes. We're not even going to talk about anything else because you get extra reserve. You get a fast reload when you're out of the two rockets, and then we have grenades and horseshoes. Really good soft launch counter mass warhead veneers. But again, I've talked about it. Uh, I use Ambush in the first round of Trials, and even in mid-rounds of Trials. Let's see if I have it on. Uh, we do. So the seven cents here, I have Grenadier, Quick Draw, Hidden Hand, High Aim Assist, even though we have Ambush on here. We can, do, we can go Short Gaze as well. But again, people still use Icebreaker in the beginning of rounds, and I don't understand why. Because maps like Assembly, Anomaly, you get to these points quicker, and they're still trying to chamber around. Uh, with their icebreakers, so you can get off one or two shots, even double body them before they can get their first round. And then they have to count on Mulligan if they miss their shot. So uh, I would use your longbows, things like that, in your first rounds. I just have really grown accustomed to that seventh sense. So with Future War Colts, we have Steady Hand, Sure Shot, Quick Draw. Explosive Rounds, Lightweight, Hammer Forge, Hot Swap, Hidden Hand. So these two together, we get increased range within, with Hidden Hand. And then Explosive Rounds, or Lightweight. Explosive Rounds, we talked about the well not too long ago in a live gameplay. Talking about, well, I had a Luck in the Changer reduced mag one. Uh, the Waltz, we're going to skip this week. I really like the waiting. We have the MD Reflex, Red Dot, ORA, and the OEG. Accelerated Coil, Snapshot, Perfect Balance, Performance Bonus, and Range Finder. So I would personally go with Snapshot. Accelerated coils. Here's the deal. A lot of people talk to me about accelerated coils. I tend to shoot very deep fusion rifle shots, and they do indeed have drop off. So this is one of the higher impact fusions. It changes the archetype to a lower damage per projectile. So at those longer ranges, it does even less, even though you get it out a little bit quicker. But in range, it's still going to be the same projectile to kill. That's the trade off. I would personally go with lightweight performance bonus and range finder on the waiting this week. Uh, I would have really liked a range perk right here, but if you can't control the recoil, we can go with perfect balance, but I would I would go with performance bonus. It's like free ammo once you get kills. MD reflex, OEG, red dot, ORA. I would stick with the reflex. Let's see what the wounded has this week in the wormwood. I think uh, we have a reactive reload wormwood. We're not even going to go over the perks. Just get one. I'm still looking for one, and this is this will probably be the one that I get on my PlayStation account. Uh, true sight, fast draw, quick draw. Armor piercing snapshot, hand loaded, relentless tracker, reactive. I like relentless tracker on these things because it's a quick kill. You get the extra pie on your radar. And in a perfect world, if you have another box, you get the increased radar, you get the reload, and get reactive reload. So it could be a decent one. It's way too situational. We would have liked a good base, hidden hand, or range finder. Real quick with the wounded. Snapshot again, right? So the red dot ORA range lens OEG. It really hurts that we don't have the reflex this week. Uh, small board triple tap crowd. I would go with triple tap crowd and probably snapshot. So let's go and head over to the crucible quartermaster. All right, first let's see what bounties we have. I believe that we do again have a hand cannon bounty, and I kind of held on to it because of Guardian Con, and then I didn't get to play. So yeah, we have hand cannons, scout rifle, fusion rifle, sniper, and heavy. Uh, first starting off with the Zero Day Dilemma, I, I really like this for PvE. I have one for PvE with close and or. It's the MD Reflex Quick Draw, the OEG, Rodeo, or Grenadier. One of the best perks, personally, is Grenadier. Is It's like a last-ditch thing, because a lot of people are like, oh, man, I don't have this here or that there. Well, Grenadier is very good. I like Grenadier. It really helps out, you know, melee or uh, grenade builds. We have hand stock, rifled barrel, and glass half. We You get into a lot of trouble um, with certain weapons, but not so much on the zero day, because it has high base range. You can't go wrong with either or and then glass half full with a low magazine you're going to get there so very good pve auto rifle you can dip your toes into pve it's kind of difficult so the issue with the party favor this week is we have two reducing mag perks right uh with no reload right so it gets down to i believe 21 or 18 it's just too low for me even though we have rangefinder on there 
the hero formula. We have the Fatebringer roll this week. It's the red dot ORA, range lens, and OEG. Horrible scopes. It's so unfortunate. Wish we would have had a reflex. We have Outlaw or Takeny, perfect balance, explosive rounds, and then Firefly. So you can go full Fatebringer, or you can get a little bit more stability. It's a good roll this week. Uh, if you're into those things, I don't particularly like those. The deal with the Palindrome this week is we have Small Boar in mid. Reactor Reload's good. Mulligan and Icarus are good. It's just we don't hit range cap, so it's not even worth messing with. It's unfortunate because I don't have it. Uh, on the PlayStation. I was really looking for a rifle to reinforce this week. Now, the Each New Day, it's a good archetype. I know True Vanguard uses this thing a lot. I have a good counterbalance one that I like. But the Reflex or a OEG, we would stick with Reflex. We like this Knee Pads Rifle Barrel Eye of the Storm combination. Just these two. Now, it's debatable. Again, we talked about Eye of the Storm a little bit earlier. Uh, when or if it helps. But uh, in theory, this is what we want. Knee Pads Rifled Eye of the Storm. It's also braced to really get the stability. But I don't think you need it. You want range on this bad boy. And then... Not so much for last resort. Let's see what we got. Uh, we're going to skip the curtain call this week, skip the Anton's rule. We have an event horizon with the Sightsis, ViewTac, and Taxis. So these are, remember, this is like the Icebreaker scope, this uh, Taxis scope. ViewTac. Uh, so Grenadier, Perfectionist, Skip Rounds, Snapshot, which is the big one, and then Hidden Hand. So we would go with these two, and then probably Grenadier is a good passive perk. If you don't have an Eye Impact Sniper for PvP, this is what you want this week. Chaotic Neutral is good. And then we have another Rocket Launcher that is decent this week. This one's Aggressive, Smart Drift, Counter Mass. So I think that the Reserve, I forget, it's either 6 or 8 for the Unto Dust in this one. But again, it's the same thing. We have Spray and Play, Field Scout, Grenades and Horseshoes. Really good this week. Snapshot, Last Resort. And you know what? Uh, as I remember correctly, I'm not going to forget it. I believe that the one from the Future War Cult is actually... Uh, tripod grenades and horseshoes or tripod tracking and then we have field scout for it so it's a, it's it's a week for rocket launchers and then finally we have new monarchy and you know it's either it's it's either hit or it's miss with new monarchy it really is we have a persistence uh, assembly here and i just really like counterbalance on it we do have small bore or you can go straight bullet hose right <clears throat> with spray and play it's just to keep going and going going i wouldn't waste your marks on it uh, the next thing we're talking about is the free will only because we have Rangefinder and Hammer Forge. Like, that's it. That's the most possible this th this bad boy can get. Armor piercing rounds are hip fire. You know, uh, I'd probably go with hip fire, right? So that that's what we have. We have True Sight, Sure Shot, Quick Draw. We go with Sure Shot, probably. Uh, or possibly, no, we probably go with Sure Shot. But that's it. That's what you want on the free will. Boom. If you want it, it's there. It's there for the taking. Uh, so the bad cancel, same thing I have for the last ditch. We have Crowd Control Surrounded. And then either hip fire or flared. Uh, you know what? Flared probably for PVE. The ballistics are smooth, CQB, and soft. We probably stick with our smooth ballistics option. Uh, again, fast reload, surrounded procs with three or more enemies, and then crowd control. Lots of extra damage for the bad cancel. And you shoot a little bit quicker. And uh, you know what? I think that's going to be it. Let's see if the deposition has quick draw or snap. And it does not. So that's going to be it this week. The weapons are, like I said, just hit or miss. I really like the rocket launchers this week. Get you a good rocket launcher with grenades for PvP if you don't have one. There's even a good tracking one, your basic run-of-the-mill tracking. Sidearms are always good. So let me know what you guys are excited for this week. I think it's kind of a bad week. Uh, even for me, starting on PS4, there's nothing really I want okay. that I need to have starting my PS4 account. But down there below, sound off what you're most interested in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, I am Cool Guy.